The nervous system is just wires and cables. Even after death, the muscles respond to electricity. <laughs> Being a bad animator at Disney, uh, the opportunity to do live action was great for me because it got me sort of out of my shell and I could kind of had to learn how to talk to people for the first time in my life. So, you know, it was a project that meant a lot to me, sort of based on a relation, you know, that I had with a dog when I was a kid. You know, that's that first kind of relationship where it's very pure, you know, and uh, and so the idea of a boy and his dog and the Frankenstein story just seemed like a natural fit. I like those kind of movies, so it was like, it, it didn't seem like a weird combination. It seemed quite natural. You don't usually get that with humans. It's a very pure relationship. It's kind of simple, and like I said, it's the first, you know, experience you had with when I was a child with death, you know, and, and, and so, you know, it's memorable, ex memorable time. The, you know, the opportunity of doing it stop motion, black and white, 3D, you know, made it, it was important for me to feel like it was a new project. Strangely, it's hard to put into words, but it makes it more emotional. And it, you know, people complain about 3D and being dark and murky, but it's interesting with the black and white it just it, it's still sharp it's it's cl something really beautiful about it so to me it just fits the story and it and it fits the technique and uh, it's like part of the character of the piece and I don't know why exactly I think it's because you get rid of the color you focus more on simpler things and motions and things and it just seemed appropriate I mean I don't do the stop motion I I, I, I left animation a long time ago, because I, I was, you know, I didn't have the patience. I, I, I was a very frustrated a animator, and at the time the projects there weren't that good, you know, so I got quite disillusioned. But I do, I always, you know, from watching Ray Harryhausen movies, I love stop motion, and it is a special type of person. I do admire them very much because they, you know, it, it's, you know, sitting in a dark room moving a puppet, you know, one frame at a time. And it takes a real special kind of artist to do that. So, you know, uh, uh, it's probably my favorite form of animation, uh, especially with the right project. I tried to make everything as personal as possible in terms of a memory or a type of person or a person that I re recall, or, like I said, teachers and kind of environment and, you know, kind of area that I grew up in, sort of Burbank and even down to the, some of the architecture of, 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 of Burbank. So, you know, it was all trying to, to go back and, and, and find anything that was personal to, 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 to relate. I guess the difference is it, it explores a bit more the kind of kid politic classroom stuff, other weird kids, teachers, just a, a bit more of that life. And, and, you know, in the same way that like in the Universal when they started doing things like Frankenstein versus the Wolfman or, or you know House of Frankenstein or House of Dracula or Abbott Costello meet Frankenstein where they threw in a bunch of monsters into one movie so it kind of goes back to the, that kind of structure of, of, of those kind of movies yeah no no there's a wallpaper I mean all the, you know the costumes little dinosaurs and everything I mean you know I mean that that's the beauty of it that, that's the thing where I mean, I'm glad they did that because, y you know, there is something beautiful about the tactile nature of it. And, you know, I mean, you know, I've done stuff where it's been with computers and that, that can be great stuff, but there's something about being walking into a room and just seeing little props and seeing little things. It just, you know, it just excites you. You know, I've been so lucky to meet people, you know, like Vincent Price or Christopher Lee, you know, people that have inspired you, you know, for your whole life. And so, uh, you know, I've always, I've always felt, felt very grateful that I had that opportunity. Amazing artists, you know, just, a, and it, you meet these people, and it's interesting, because you meet people like that, that, that have affected you, then you meet them, and they're really nice people, you know, that, that means a lot. I, like, I remember, like, out of my whole years of school, I probably had one or two good teachers, and everybody else was crap, you know, or didn't inspire. It is nice to see kids, especially younger, 
you know, have a cool art teacher, you know, I mean, it's like, most of these just go like, oh, wow, you know, I, I'd love to make that, you know, I'd like to come, you know, to the class. So you should be inspired, and that, that, there's no reason not to, you know, I mean, it just shows how weird and bad the system that I grew up in was, because I think we weren't inspired, we were just like, oh, got to go to class, uh, and you see, when you get a good one, it's, it's, it, it, it means everything. Thank <laughs> you.